employees. Welcome boys and girls, parents and carers. It is now time for King James and Queen Alexei to carry out their last official duties. They will now perform the crowning ceremony and name Ty Pilat as King and Lois Wright as Queen of Newton Grange Children's Gala for the year 2020. Please remain in your places and bear witness to this special event. Crowned King of Newton Grange Children's Gala Day 2020. Goa Shrite will be now Crown Queen of Newton Grange Gala Day 2020. This year has been unlike any other year in the history of the Children's Gala Day. Since 1913, only one other Gala Day has been cancelled. We are lucky we are now able to do the small crowning ceremony to allow us to hopefully continue the tradition next year. This is our message to the future. Each and every one of us should make the most of opportunities that lie ahead and always try to be the best that we can be to keep building on the strong sense of community spirit that exists in Newton Grange. We should always be kind and respectful and live together in peace and harmony. King for 2019, James Wallace. For 2019, Lexi Waterston. King's Escort 2020, Aaron Burns. Escort 2020, Rihanna McKimmy. Court Member 2020, Corin Ferry. Member 2020, Tilly Welsh. <laughs> Court Member 2020, Molly Walker Kinsman.
Court Member 2020, Cody Sneddon. Court Member 2020, Beth Morley. Herald 2020, Adam Tierney. Good afternoon everybody. I'm Conor Wright, the Vice Chairperson of Newton Grange Children's Gallery. Firstly, I'd like to thank you all for coming today. This year has been extremely challenging for all of us and I'm sure you'll agree that none of us have experienced anything like this before. COVID-19 has had a massive effect on all of us. However, in Newton Grange, it strengthened our already, already thriving community spirit. Committee members have been helping out with the Villagers Resilience effort in a number of ways. I personally have found this very humbling to see everyone pulling together in a time of crisis. It really does show how strong the community spirit is here in Newton Grange, a community that I'm proud to be part of, as I'm sure you all do also. The committee's focus this year was to try and ensure that we could have some form of event to mark this very important tradition. As Adam, this, year, this year's Herald said, this is only the second time in the Gallaudet's 107 year history that we've had to cancel. Therefore, we decided to organise a small private crowning ceremony with the children in P7 who wished to participate. I must say that in, in two rehearsals that we've had here at Gardner's Place, the kids have been absolutely fantastic and have adhered to all social distancing and COVID safety guidelines. I'm sure you agree with me, they have done brilliantly again here today. So I'd like to thank you all, I would like you all to join me in thanking them for their efforts. As always, the gallery would not be possible without our sponsors, who still kindly donated despite the ongoing COVID situation. I'd encourage you all to take a look at the sponsors on our website and support these local businesses where you can. Without these businesses, the gallery would not exist. I'd like to give an extra special thank you to Pastel on the Main Street, who have donated the gallery lunches that the children will receive shortly. So please, please support these businesses where you can. I'd now like to pass you over to Gail Taylor from New Battle Parish Church, who has sent us a video message as she could not be with us with, with us today. So, run VT. As the relatively new minister of New Battle Parish, I was really looking forward this year to experiencing the Newton Grange Gala Day. I've heard so much about it, and I was looking forward in particular to the kirking of the gala and the church being involved in welcoming people to church in what is always a really special week of Gala Week. Obviously for all of us this year, our plans have changed and there's been so many losses across this time of the pandemic. But what we haven't lost is our community spirit and we haven't lost the opportunity to still mark things in a creative way. And I'm very grateful to the whole committee of the Gala Day who've put together this lockdown gala today in September. Within that, there's still the opportunity to send a greeting on behalf of the church to say that we're remembering all the people of the parish, no matter what age they are, in our thoughts and our prayers at this time. And in particular, our young people who've missed out on so much. To our gala king and queen, to Lois and to Ty this year, we wish you well in what's a very different year, but you'll never forget 2020. And we'd like to mark your time as Gala King and Queen by doing something that always happens as part of the Kirking of the Gala, by giving you a Bible each. And we'd like you to take this Bible with the good wishes of the parish, but we'd also like you to read the verse that's inscribed in the inside cover, which reminds us that when we build our foundations on solid things, 
then we have good resilience to help us to cope with whatever challenges come our way in life. The story of the wise man who built his house upon the rock is that when the storms came, the house stood firm. And so we pray for you and for your families and for everyone in our community at this time, that as we face uncertain days ahead, we will be able to hold on to the things that remain, the things that last our family, our friends and our faith. So have a good gala day and we hope that next year we will and I will get to experience my first gala day but we will all return together again to be part of our community celebrations. Thank you Gail for your well wishes and I would like to hand you back over to the Dean Grange Children's Gala Day Lockdown Edition Gala Court of 2020.